Times Square is where Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg talked one on one with us about a vision of Manhattan as a paradise for pedestrians. With more foot traffic plazas, more bike lanes, the transformation depends on the adoption of congestion pricing, charging drivers new fees for access to bustling mid and lower Manhattan. At first, drivers are very wary of congestion pricing. It's very unpopular. But once it's implemented, people actually grow to like it because as aggravating it is to pay the toll, it's also aggravating to be stuck in traffic for half the day. She says London serves as an inspiration city because congestion pricing there eased traffic by an estimated 35 percent. We have a lot of similarities to London. Over time, what we saw is they reclaim some of their street space. Commissioner Trottenberg says her hopes for more pedestrian plazas and bike lanes is for down the road. Her priority is getting city buses to move through Manhattan more effectively. But what about after? Some drivers get grumpy about all of this. If I'm an Uber driver, it'll cut into my profits. <laughs> you don't like it at all. They say they'll be able to put more bike lanes. Ah, that's good. Not, not good. A city council proposal would increase bike lanes fivefold, with 700 new miles of protected bike lanes by the end of 2026. You make more bike lanes, more pedestrian plazas. Does that add the congestion back? Well, it's interesting. It's a little bit of a debate they're having in London, but it is true. Congestion has gone down and then perhaps crept back up. So it's something I think as you're managing the whole system, you're going to have to be always taking a look at. People who are adamant about driving, they're going to keep driving. If too many drivers just pay to stay, that's a pedestrian paradise lost. In Times Square, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.